गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी इन दिस क्लास लर्न द रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ हेलोजन्स दैट इज जी सेवनटीन एलिमेंट्स विथ ऑक्सीजन सो सी दर्ड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज रिएक्टिविटी टूवर्ड्स ऑक्सीजन रिएक्टिविटी टूवर्ड्स ऑक्सीजन मीन्स टू वॉट हाउ टू फॉर्म द रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलोजन्स विथ ऑक्सीजन रिएक्टिविटी टूवर्ड्स ऑक्सीजन द हेलोजन्स दैट इज जी सेवनटीन एलिमेंट्स कैन रिएक्ट विथ ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म द करस्पॉन्डिंग ऑक्साइड्स हेलोजन्स reacts with oxygen to form oxides halogen reacts with oxygen to form the oxides but most of the oxides but most of the oxides of halogen are unstable are unstable we know the halogens that is fluorine chlorine bromine iodine how to form the oxides in the first fluorine fluorine forms two oxides chlorine form two oxides such as of2 and o2f2 of2 and o2f2 these two oxides of fluorine can occurs that of2 and o2f2 both are the strong oxidizing agents the of2 and o2f2 are strong oxidizing agents strong oxidizing agents but in that oxides the of2 is thermodynamically stable at 298 kelvin temperature what the oxide is of fluorine in which of2 is thermodynamically 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 stable at 200 98 kelvin temperature this indicates the oxide of halogen that is of2 cannot be affected by the temperature at 298 kelvin it becomes stable so this are the oxides of fluorine that is of2 and o2 f2 o2 f2 oxidizes O two F two oxidizes plutonium plutonium to form plutonium fluoride. See again. O two F two oxidizes plutonium to form the plutonium hexafluoride and and that reaction is used and reaction is used to remove that reaction is used to remove plutonium plutonium from nuclear field from nuclear field so these are the oxides of 
first halogen that is fluorine see again halogen reacts with oxygen to form the oxides but most of that oxides are unstable first halogen that is fluorine forms two oxides first is the of2 and second one is the o2 f2 both o f2 and o2 f2 are strong oxidizing agent means what that both oxides are used for the oxidation reactions helps in oxidation so oxidizing agents o f2 is thermodynamically stable at 298 kelvin temperature but o2 f2 o2 f2 oxidizes to plutonium to form the plutonium hexafluoride and that reaction is used to remove the plutonium from nuclear field then second halogen chlorine chlorine forms number of oxides chlorine form number of oxides such as such as cl o2 first chlorine dioxide second cl2 o cl2 o third one is the cl2 o6 cl2 o7 etc chlorine can react with oxygen to form the number of oxides that is cl o2 cl2 o cl2 o6 and cl2 o7 are highly reactive oxidizing agents are highly reactive oxidizing agents oxidizing agents then see oxide of chlorine that is clo2 is used as bleaching agent clo2 is used as bleaching agent bleaching agent in different purposes first for paper pulp second for textile clo2 is used as bleaching agent in in paper pulp then in textiles textile industries and third in treatment of water in water treatment in water treatment of used what for the purification of water in municipal corporations the clo2 chlorinium dioxide is used as the bleaching agent for the purification of water so these are the oxides of fluorine and chlorine likewise that bromine can also form the number of oxides which are that bromine third halogen that is bromine for oxides for oxides like bromine can form oxides like br2 o then br o2 bromine dioxides br o3 bromine trioxides br2 br o3 and br o2 are the least stable are least stable all these oxides of bromine are less stable as compared to the oxides of fluorine and chlorine these are very powerful oxidizing agents these are very powerful oxidizing agents the oxides of bromine are also used for the oxidizing agents means what in oxidation reactions then iodine can forms last halogen iodine 
false oxides like which oxides of iodine are formed that is i2o4 i2o5 i2o4 i2o5 are the oxides of iodine then i2o7 i2o7 all these oxides of iodine are insoluble solids these are these are insoluble solids the oxides of iodine i2o4 i2o5 and i2o7 all these are the insoluble solids and decompose by heating and decompose that is breaks up by heating whenever this undergoes heating then it becomes decomposed in which i2o5 is very good oxidizing agent in oxides of iodine that is i2o5 is good oxidizing good oxidizing agent and used and used in estimation of carbon monoxide and used for estimation of carbon monoxide so all these are the oxides of halogens that may be chlorine chlorine bromine and iodine all these oxides of halogens can forms are used as oxidizing agents this is the next chemical property of halogens that is reaction with metals fourth chemical property reaction with metals what is the reaction of halogens with metals any metal sodium magnesium aluminum can react with halogens to form the corresponding metal halides halogens halogens reacts with halogens reacts with metals reacts with metals to form to form metal halides to form metal halides for example suppose sodium 2 na plus cl2 chlorine gas sodium can reacts with the sodium sodium can reacts with chlorine to form the sodium chloride that is metal halide second example magnesium can reacts with bromine to form the mgbr2 magnesium bromide likewise that corresponding metal halides are formed when metals can reacts with the halogens all these metals having the bond supports nacl sodium chloride can possess the bond that is ionic bond another magnesium chloride one magnesium metal can react with two bromides in between them the mgbr can form the ionic bonds any metal halides that may be sodium chloride magnesium bromide or anything any metal halides having the bond that is the ionic bond the bond is breaks up to gives the ions it's called as ionic bonds so the ionic characters of that sodium magnesium or any halides the ionic characters of halide decreases in following order the ionic characters of metal halide halides decreases in order in order 
such as M F that is metal fluoride, then metal chloride, metal bromide, and metal iodide. This indicates what the ionic bond of M indicates metal, metal fluoride, metal chloride, metal bromide, and metal iodides. In which the metal fluoride is stronger than that of the metal iodides. The ionic bond characters of metal fluoride is too much than that of the metal iodides. So it indicates the ionic characters can decreases in a given order. Then see the next chemical property that is oxo acids of halogens. Oxo acids of halogens. Fifth chemical property that is oxo acids of halogens. Halogens can forms number of oxy acids. Halogen can forms number of oxo acids, but only four oxo acids have been isolated in pure form. The halogen shows number of the halogen shows number of oxo acids oxo acids but only but only four oxo acids four oxo acids but only four oxo acids have been isolated or has been isolated in pure form as follows halogen can show number of oxo acids but after that only four can isolated in pure forms which are that first is the hypochlorous acid second chloric acid third chlorous acid and fourth one is the perchloric acid first a hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid second the chlorous acid first is the hypochlorous acid second is the chlorous acid third chloric acid c chloric acid and fourth one is the perchloric acid per chloric acid see again oxo acids of halogens halogen can shows the number of oxo acids but out of that only four can isolate it in the pure forms first is the hypochlorous second chlorous third chloric and last one is the perchloric see the molecular formulas of that hypochlorous acid that is hocl hypo can indicates hydrogen hypochlorous acid then chlorous acid hclo2 one oxygen is increases to form the chlorous acid then chloric acid hclo3 is the chloric acid and last one is the perchloric acid hclo4 so these are the molecular formulas of what oxo acids of halogens that is chlorine then see the structure formula how to form the structure of hypochlorous acid in hypochlorous acid one hydrogen atom can linked with oxygen and that oxygen can linked with the chlorine to form the structure of hypochlorous acid
acid. Then in chlorous acid, one oxygen is increases to use the different structure that is hydrogen, then oxygen, hydrogen can link to oxygen, then chlorine and lastly that chlorine can link with the oxygen. So this is the structure of chlorous acid. Again chloric acid, this hydrogen linked with oxygen, again chlorine can link with two oxygen atom by double watt. So it containing one hydrogen, one chlorine and three oxygen atom. So molecular formula is the HClO3 is the chloric acid and last is the perchloric acid HClO4 that having the one hydrogen can link with the oxygen again with the chlorine again with the chlorine and that chlorine can link with three different oxygen atom first, second and last one. So this is the perchloric acid. This question can ask for the two marks in board pattern. Write the oxo acids of halogens. In halogens, the oxo acids of chlorines are the very important. That is only four. Can write another's. Only four because which can isolated in pure forms. Otherwise, in MCQs, you may to ask give the molecular formula of any chlorous acid. That may be hypo, then chlorous acid or perchloric acid. So you remind only the formula, molecular formula of that acids in MCQ purpose. So here the oxo acids of halogen becomes over. Okay, thank you.